Hello, do you want to learn how to deploy your CockroachDB cluster on, on Kubernetes and OpenShift? Then, this video is for you. My name is Alex Soto, Director of Developer Experience at Red Hat. And if you want to stay updated with all the content that we are delivering, remember to follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's start here. I've got my OpenShift um, cluster running. Remember that OpenShift is just an implementation of Kubernetes, so OpenShift is Kubernetes. Uh, let's go to the uh, terminal. Let's, I can do, for example, kubectl get node, so you can see that, you know, I've got all these my nodes. I've got like six worker nodes and three master nodes running on AWS in Frankfurt. And now let's uh, deploy a cluster. Do I do kubectl uh, uh, get pod? You see that kubectl get pod. You see that I've got no uh, pods deployed here yet. Let's deploy a cockroach db cluster. The only thing that I need to do is just use Helm. So I can do Helm repo at stable and I put it this the Kubernetes charts.storage.googleapis.com. I edit the repo. Okay, then I need to yeah, usually I just do a Helm um repo update to just update to the latest things probably now it's already the lastest one but yeah, it's always nice to have it updated and then i need to create some yaml file with the specific parameters of my installation so i'm going for example to create a bi cook roach db dot ML. Since I'm using Helm, most of the parameters are okay, but if I want to set it some by default, I need to s create an, a specific YAML file. In this case, notice that I'm just setting the limits and the rigors of the uh, memory, so I just want to use one GB of RAM. The cache is, is a quarter of the all the memory, so it's two, five, six. And then my service, the service that is exposing CockroachDB, I want it to not be a cluster IP, but a load balancer. Then I can just um, save the file and do Helm install. Uh, let's call it, for example, Quarkus, Quarkus release because at the end, someday we will um, deploy a Quarkus application, right? As we've seen in the previous video that the uh, uh in the description you can find it the link where we develop a quarkus application using um cockroach db as a database so here we're just learning how to deploy it to kubernetes and you can take that application and deploy it here so we've got again uh helm install quarkus release minus 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 values uh it's going to co we call it cockroach db.yml and we want to use the stable slash cockroach db okay now i install it it might take some time but at the end you know now it, it works and i can do click cattle get pods get pods and you can see that now my uh cockroach db cluster is starting with three nodes by default so you can set it more nodes if you if you if you wish in your um in your uh, yaml file but in this case i just leave it to the default which is three notice that the init has completed so that my cluster is initialized it's still you know uh, uh, waiting notice that now the node zero is running but not ready yet the reason is that because not all the cluster is up and running. Let's wait a bit more. Okay, now notice that this is up and running and the other ones are running. I, I, they are waiting for, for the synchronization. M meanwhile, I can do QCuddle get services. And you can see that here I've got two services, one which is the cluster IP and another one which is the Quarkus release Cogroach public, which is the load balancer. Remember that I said it to be a load balancer and this is the um, URL to connect and in case of your application you always need to do it through the 
public service. It doesn't matter if it's a load balancer or cluster API or whatever, but always the service should be the uh, Minus public one, not this one. This one is used for internal communications. And if you check the Cockroach TV uh, documentation, it says that you need to always use this as service, okay? The public one. Let's see if I've got all the pods up and running. Yeah, now, okay, I can just go here, copy, uh, copy the uh, URL and go to the IDE and maybe sometimes with Amazon it takes some time to publish, but I think that now it worked. You can see that now I've connected to the um, Cockroach DB um, dashboard and notice that, as I said, we've got three nodes and here you can see also the, you know, the, the, uh, the, the host name or, or the, or the node name, right? With all the memory, all the versions and, and so on and so forth. So really easy to uh, deploy uh, Cockroach DB um, cluster inside a Kubernetes cluster. Remember that in the description, you've got the link on how to uh, develop a Quarkus application using Cockroach DB as a database. Now you've learned how to deploy the Cockroach DB in Kubernetes. And in the next video, you're going to learn how to use CogroachDB in a multi-cluster environment. Thank you very much.